Good morning. This is Keller Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your Born and Busters coming up at first. Our top story. The war in Ukraine delayed a reunion for a Sioux Falls family, but Grandma and Grandpa are now in the same city as their daughter and grandkids. The emotional reunion of the Pavlova family took place on Wednesday. On Friday, we spoke with 11-year-old Sophia about what it's like to have her grandparents finally in Sioux Falls. I was really happy that they were going to come soon. And then the war hit and it took longer for them to come. But now, now they are finally here and I'm really happy that they are and thankful that they're, they're here. Sophia will be attending Ben Rifle Middle School this fall. A Sioux Falls woman is making a quicker than expected recovery following a serious motorcycle crash that left her with brain damage. Marina Grace is being treated at the Select Specialty Hospital, South Dakota, where Friday she took her first step since the May 13th crash. She says she's determined to make a full recovery, regardless however long it will take. I'm very blessed and thankful to be here. Like, I can't believe how bad the accident was. Blessed to be here. Brina is scheduled to be discharged from the Specialty Select Hospital next week and will be admitted to a rehab facility in Omaha. Kelloland Media Group collected a laundry list of items for the teddy bear den in Sioux Falls as part of Founders Day of Caring on Friday. People showed their generosity by dropping off everything from cash to laundry detergent to diapers. Sue Ann Lang has four daughters and was happy to help the cause and calls Sioux Falls a giving community. I think it's an example of how when individuals see a need, they rise to the cause and they find a way to meet that need. You can still donate to the Teddy Bear Den. We've provided a link under this story at Kelloland.com. Let's get a first look at the forecast now with what's going to be a very hot weekend forecast with meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head on that one. It is going to be dangerously hot and humid, not just today, but really as we head through the entirety of the weekend. Outside we go with a view. Great Bear just to the left, 72 at the airport with a southeast wind at 15 miles per hour this morning. Again, it is going to be very warm, if not outright hot, and pretty humid as well. Temperatures are already in the 70s in many locations. A few 60s out there, like 69 degrees in Brookings and Sisseton. 64 Ortonville, Spencer, 68, 72 Yankton and Chamberlain, 65 in Rapid City. And while, yes, we do have a breeze in place today, it is going to be a southeasterly wind all it's going to do is bring in more heat and more humidity. Dew points are going to climb as we head through the day. So that is going to be something that we will need to keep a very close eye on. We'll talk about the heat plus the chance for a few thunderstorms now and again in a couple of places. All coming up in your extended forecast. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, thousands of people will be celebrating Pride Month with a pair of events in downtown Sioux Falls later this morning. The Pride Parade and Festival will include drag performances, kids' activities, and vendors. So if you want to buy some stuff from uh, LGBT-owned businesses, we suggest you bring some cash. Most of them take cards, but not all of them. And then, uh, yeah, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your water. <laughs> The parade starts at 10 a.m. at 8th and Dakota and proceeds to the 8th and Railroad Center where the festival begins at 11. Admission is free. Siouxland Library's Reading Invasion is making a stop at the outdoor campus in Sioux Falls. Everyone is invited to bring a book and enjoy a morning of reading and relaxing from 9 to noon. People can also visit the bookmobile during the invasion. South Dakota communities are hosting several summer festivals this weekend. Jesse James Days are taking place in Garrison. Teapot Days are being held in Tea, and Hartford is home to Jamboree Days. Bronze Age Art Casting in Sioux Falls is hosting the Sun Pour 2022 starting at 4 p.m. The event features fiery outdoor iron pours starting at 8 o'clock. Visitors can also design a mold for an iron tile. Admission is free. Brody Ray is the featured performer at the free Levitt at the Falls outdoor concert in downtown Sioux Falls. The Levitt Lawn opens at 6.30. The music starts at 7. Adam? 
Uh, here is the swath of heat advisories which are in effect across much of Kelloland through South Dakota, southwestern Minnesota, and northwestern Iowa, even portions of northern Nebraska getting in on it too. Uh, this will be in place through the evening, and it won't be the last time we talk about heat advisories through the next at least two, if not three days. Heat indices will likely reach and exceed 100 to 105 degrees, so please be careful if you absolutely must be outside. Know the signs of heat exhaustion that you see on the left and heat stroke on the right as well. Do what you can to stay hydrated and stay cool as well. And also know what to do if you see the signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke for that matter. This is going to be some very hot and humid weather we're going to be talking about for the next couple of days. For what it's worth, we're pretty quiet this morning on satellite and radar. Not a whole lot of anything going on. Just a warm front that's going to try and move on through. But later this evening, we may see some isolated showers and thunderstorms out in western portions of South Dakota, West River primarily. Maybe a nice way to sprinkle trying to head toward Mulbridge and Eureka. Uh, but overall, the bulk of the activity, again, West River later this evening and tonight. That will also be the case on Sunday, though a couple of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two could be observed East River. But I think that will be an exception to that overall rule. And a couple of those storms, West River may become strong to severe as we have a little more in place in the atmosphere. Another chance for some scattered thunderstorms to come around late Monday into early Tuesday morning. There is Sunday's outlook for severe weather. It's a marginal risk, level 1 out of 5 in green. Uh, from Bennett County all the way up to Perkins County, points west. This will include Rapid City, I-90, just about out toward Wall. Also Buffalo, Spearfish, Belfouche. Uh, lead and Deadwood for that matter. Wind and hail are going to be the primary concerns with anything that is able to get itself fired up. Highs today in the 90s to low 100s. So again, be careful if you must be outside today. Stay cool and stay hydrated. We don't get much relief overnight with low temperatures dropping only into the 70s in many locations at best. And we're talking about lows in the mid 60s to the west. And for Father's Day and Juneteenth, it is going to be very hot and very humid once more. Upper 90s to low 100s across much of the area. Heat headlines will once again be in place. Your seven day forecast does have one more hot day on the way Monday with a couple of thunderstorms possible. The fever breaks midweek, but it's only temporary as we climb back into the 90s going into the end of next week. Have a great day, everybody. Again, stay safe. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to KelloLand.com.